Hello and welcome to another video on Progressive Coder. Today we are going to continue our discussion on type ORM. Specifically, we are going to cover the topic of entity inheritance in type ORM. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to press the bell icon. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into the topic. So why do we need inheritance? Inheritance helps reduce duplication in your entity definitions. By using inheritance, we can have a base class for common attributes. Other classes can extend this base class without repeating the common attributes. Even though many developers think inheritance is a bad thing due to the complexity it can create, it is still a prominent design pattern. If used properly, inheritance can even be a pretty powerful tool to design entities. In type ORM, entity inheritance is supported in two major ways. First is by using concrete table inheritance. Second is by using a single table inheritance. We will look at both with examples. We will start with the concrete table inheritance first because it is slightly easier to wrap your head around. Let us take the example of passengers in a flight. There would be two categories of passengers, business class and economy class. We would like to define entities for these categories. To start with, let us create a general passenger class. This class will be declared as abstract since we are not really going to instantiate this class directly. It will act as a base for other classes. The passenger class will contain three fields, the primary key field for an ID, the first name and the last name. Basically, you can think of it as information that will be common to a passenger, whether that passenger belongs to the business class or economy class. Now we will create separate entities for business and economy class passengers. For example, the business class has a much more elaborate set of meal preferences passengers can choose from. Also, business class users can choose their preference for a special drink. On the other hand, the economy class has only two basic options for meals, vegetarian and non-vegetarian, and no special drinks at all. Both of these passenger classes, that is business and economy, extend the common passenger class. Also, these classes are decorated with the entity decorator. In case you want to know more about the entity decorator and various other decorators in type ORM, there's a detailed post on type ORM entities you can refer to. Link is in the top right corner of the screen. Anyways, now that the classes are defined, we can use them in our application like any other class. For example, we create instances of business class passenger and economy class passenger. We assign appropriate values and then by using the respective repositories, we can simply insert the record into tables. So you might wonder what all tables are created. Well, just two tables will be created in this case, business class passenger and economy class passenger. This is the concrete table inheritance approach. Technically, this is a pretty straightforward approach. If the inheritance levels are kept in control, this could be a good approach to reduce duplication. Moving on, let us look at the second approach of using single table inheritance. In this approach, multiple classes can inherit from a single base class, just like how we did in the concrete table approach. However, in the database, only a single table will be created. Hence the name single table inheritance. To use this approach, we will keep our entity fields as before. However, we will tweak our passenger entity a little bit. Notice that we have removed the abstract keyword. Also, we decorate the passenger class with the entity decorator. The second decorator we use is table inheritance. This decorator takes an object as input. The object has a property called column with type as varchar and name as category. Basically, this table inheritance decorator will ensure that the passenger table will have another extra field known as category of type varchar. It will store the name of the child table in that particular field. For the business class passenger and economy class passenger, we only have to make one small change and that is to replace the entity decorator with child entity decorator, as simple as that. We can now use them in our application just like the concrete table approach. Create instances of business class passenger and economy class passenger. 
set appropriate values and insert the records into tables. However, in this case, only one table will be created, that is a passenger table. It will have fields from both the tables, but there would be an additional field known as category. For a business class passengers record, the category will store business class passenger. For an economy class passengers record, it will store economy class passenger. Basically, the name of the child classes. So that was all about entity inheritance in type ORM using concrete table approach and the single table approach. If this video was useful, please do like and comment. Also do share which approach you prefer to use while designing your entities. See you in the next video.